So we can start. We start in one minute. Homa, we just started, okay? So just join in. We start in one minute. Join in, please. All right, I'm going to do a countdown and we start. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so this question is also outdated. So we're just gonna count this out. So moving on to the next one. Mommy Linda, because that's what I wanna do. <laughs> Is there a problem? Okay. Um, frequently asked question. Make a list of all H.C. Anderson's books. Okay. On to the next one. Johannes B. Hansen. Well, basically all of these questions are frequently asked, okay? So they've shown up in more than at least two exams and the probability of them showing up again is high. When I took the exam in 2019, this showed up and it showed up in several other exams. So 17 people got this wrong. Every single question that we're doing in this series, okay? In the frequently asked questions series, you must know the answers to every single one of these questions. There's 185 of them. You can practice with the quiz on the website. And obviously, you can practice here on Kahoot as well. So moving on to the next one. I could see Sarah, no, 11 people have not been practicing. Phyllis is still number one. 23 players reached an answer streak of three. Round of applause. So Bertolt Thorvaldsen is Denmark's most famous sculptor. And he's got a museum close to the parliament. It's a big yellow building. And he's also buried in there. Next one. Phyllis is still number one.
as Gayon was one of the contemporary artists, he created a group called Cobra. And um, he started, well, he was an abstract artist, right? And he, his works are actually in um, SMK, Stavins Museum for Kunst. So go check that out if you have the chance. Next one. Phyllis is still number one. 16 players hit an answer streak of five. Excellent. Next one. Yes, he designed the Opera House in Sydney. Next one. Okay, so Ricardo just overtook Phyllis to take the number one spot. Okay, so if you're getting any of these questions wrong, like I said before, you must know the answers to every single one of these questions. There's 185 of them. After this session, I'll show you where to find those questions. You practice um, those questions until you're getting 100% on every single one of them, okay? Next one. Yeah, it should be should be obvious because there's a mistake in the answers. All right. One person got this wrong. This actually showed up in the previous Kahoot. So you can see that this question is relevant to both tests. Okay. All right, static top five. Hopefully all of you get this right. Hmm. Okay. Um, eight people got this wrong. It's Queen Margaret the second. All right. Next one. So the queen has her speech New Year's Eve every year. All right, someone fell out, can't remember who. Ricardo, CJ Phyllis on the podium, Mami Linda, and Dundio at number four and five. Ty is the highest climber up three places. Excellent. Next one. Two hundred and forty thousand Germans came to Denmark after World War II. All right, 
For the eight people that got this wrong, now you know what you don't know. Static top five. You just saw, well, okay, you didn't just see this, but something similar to this. All right, so 15 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. All right, so he lived in the 1800s. He's actually, well, I heard he was friends with H.C. Uh, Anderson. And he didn't make it out of the 1800s as well. And he's buried in Assistance Cemetery. Not in Norfolk. Next one. Who fell out? Can't remember. Next one. All right, so seven people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Static top five, the Panther is up four places. Excellent. Oh yeah, it was Nani Linda. Yes, so three quarters are members of Poker Kevin. All right, almost everyone got this wrong. Um, right, what am I saying? <laughs> almost everyone got this right. Only two people got this wrong. Um, the two people that got this wrong, this question is about St. Hans, not just the lamb. Okay, on to the next one. There is always a question about NFS Queen's Week. There is probably going to be a question about him in the coming test. There's a whole section in the book dedicated to him. Please have a look in there. And as you can tell, uh, this is a frequently asked question. Four people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Get to know. Static top five still. Yes, long further edu education takes five to six years. So that's if you want to get your, um, your bachelor's and your master's. 15 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know, get to know. Next one. We're almost halfway there.
All right. Nine people got this wrong. I can tell you've not been practicing, but anyways, Ricardo is number one, CJ number two, Phyllis three, Dungeo four, and Arif five. These are all well-known names, except CJ. I've never seen CJ in the top five before. Lou is making a comeback with three in a row, and I'm not sure if the guy will go, but you and CJ get a round of applause. Two thousand twelve. Next one. Ricardo still holding the number one spot. KG has the highest answer streak of twenty-two questions in a row. That's a hundred percent. Round of applause to you. We just saw this, so hopefully you all get this right. Okay, only five people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. The Reformation is connected to Denmark becoming a Protestant nation. And it came in the 1500s, can't remember the exact date, 1530 something. And as you can tell, it's frequently asked, it's relevant for both tests as well. Okay, so Phyllis and Arif switched places. Four players have reached down the streak of six. Yes, so Denmark and Sweden fought many wars in the 1600s. They didn't get along that much. Now things are a bit different. Next one. It's Halland, not Smolin. All right, next one. I kind of had the feeling that Ricardo was going to make a mistake on this. <laughs> Anyways, CJ is now number one. Dundio, two, Arif, three, SA, four. And who's this guy on fire <laughs> at five? Flo is back with an answer streak of three. I'm guessing it's a girl. She's on fire. Excellent. Next one. Yes, Annabelle. The absolute monarchy was introduced in 1661. 15 people got this wrong now, you know what you don't know. Very important part of Danish history. Next one. All right, 23 people got this wrong. This was the problem that caused the, the land 
the land law reforms later on. And um, this, I think it was introduced in 1733, it lasted 55 years. However, don't quote me on that. Go check the book. I am not the holy grail for all the information. So I encourage you to check the book. 1733, yes. And it lasted for 55 years. So I, actually, I was right. Arrow. Anyways, um, frequently asked question. Don't have to say that. Moving on to the next one. Well, hopefully you all get this right. It was the peasants. Um, the answer to this question was in the previous question. So anyways, 10 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. FSA is back with an answer streak of three and he's on fire. Oh my, he's on fire. All right, next one. So this is about the second Slesvig war and Denmark lost and lost some land and they were specifically they lost Sunni Uland and they got the uh, opportunity to reunite with Sunni Uland after the end of the first world war. Next one. The Panther is the highest climber up four places. Excellent. 15 questions to go. Let's try to get through this quickly so we can all go to bed. September for Leo. 11 people got this wrong. I gave you the answer to this. Let's see if you guys were actually listening. Hopefully all of you were. Okay, not all of you. 13 people got this wrong. First female minister appointed in 1924. Her name was Nina Bang. And she was appointed by the first social democratic prime minister, Torvald Stowning. Frequently asked question, you need to know the answer to this question, okay? All right, next one. Oh, I just gave you the answer to this. <laughs> wow, I guess no one is actually listening to what I'm saying. Okay, we'll just keep moving on then. Um, next one. Okay, so 1943 um, was the year that Denmark decided to stop working with the German with the with the German occupiers because I think Germany had gone and killed a whole bunch of people in some Danish town, and Denmark decided that they were not going to support 
um, Germany and killing Denmark's citizens. And this happened in 1943. As you can tell, this is frequently asked as well. How many people got this wrong? 28, that's a lot. Well, at least now you know what you don't know. And like I said, I know I sound like a broken, broken record to lots of people that have been coming, but you need to know the answers to every single one of these questions. It's important, okay? These questions have appeared multiple times and the probability of them showing up again is high. All right, next one. All right, yes, it was the Danish Jews. <clears throat> Five people got this wrong. On to the next one. And oh, by the way, there is a Danish resistance museum. It's very close to Kongsmito. I have been there. It's quite nice. Um, very uh, interesting. And it gives a lot of context to what was happening in Denmark during World War II what was happening with the resistance movement. I would highly recommend a visit if you can. It's a bit expensive. It cost us like 95 kroner or something. But anyways, it's worth it. On to the next one. Lucy is making a comeback with three in a row. And she's on fire. This girl is on fire. All right. We've got 11 questions to go. I'm actually quite surprised that 20 people got this wrong. Okay, so this is about the liberation of Denmark in the Second World War. That happened on the 5th of May, 1945. This is a date that you should know. Well, at least now you know what you don't know, like I always say, and hopefully now you know. Um, the purpose of these sessions is to just ex ex um, expose your knowledge gaps. <clears throat> so that you go and fill them later on. It's not to make you feel bad. It's not to make you, you know, compete or anything like that. The competitive element to it is just fun. When you go to the exam, take your time, read the question slowly and then answer. It is not a compete. All right, moving on to the next one. RF back at number one. Dundio SA on fire and Ricardo is back in the top five. SG is making a comeback with three in a row. Excellent. All right. We have um, 10 questions to go. Let's try to get through this quickly. All right. Wow. Round of applause. Yes, so the Cold War started um, just right after World War II. Next one, it's very relevant because actually the, you know, what's happening in Ukraine now, kind of like a remnant of, of the Cold War. This was a combo breaker. Six players dropped their answer streak of three. Sorry, guys. 
Any questions to go? All right, so in the 60s, young people began to question traditional Danish values. One of those values was the idea of the nuclear family amongst other things. Yes. He was the first prime minister from the Conservative People's Party and the only prime minister from the Conservative People's Party. Um, 21 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Afghanistan and Iraq in 2002. All right, 10 players reached an answer streak of three. Perfect. All right, five questions to go. Yes, it was Anas Fogel Rasmussen. If you visit the poker team, you will see a painting of him. And I think in that painting, there's a plane, and that signifies NATO. I would highly recommend a visit to poker team. I'll see if I can actually organize one before the exam. I don't know how possible that's going to be, but I'll, I'll have a look to see if there's any data. Really. All right, 17 people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. Next one. Yep. So, um, Law giving Mac is shared between the government and the parliament. So usually the government is the one that comes with a lot of suggestions and the parliament debates and um, debates those suggestions and either gets rid of them or signs them into law. All right, three questions to go. All right. On Fire just got on the podium. So at the moment, we have Arif Dundu and On Fire. SA dropped to number four. Ricardo is holding number five. Three players reached an answer streak of nine. Excellent. We've got three questions to go. actually surprised. Ah, uh, well, the silver lining on this is at least now you know what you don't know. <laughs> 21 people got this wrong. Yes, the government has the executive power. All right. Yes, um, two questions to go.
Hopefully you all get this right. <laughs> One person got this wrong. I don't know if you're trolling me, but anyway, round of applause to everyone. All right, last question and bedtime. Okay, so Ricardo is now at number four. Three players reached Nasser Street at four. SA dropped to number five. Arif Dundeal on fire. Ricardo, SA top five. Last question. All right, three people got this wrong. There's 179 members of parliament. 175 of them are from Denmark. Two of them are from the Faroe Islands and two of them are from Greenland. And coincidentally, um, the, I think there were two, so it was, it was the parties from Greenland and the Faroe Islands that gave the red block their current majority in parliament. So this question is actually very relevant. And um, anyways, three people got this wrong. Now you know what you don't know. All right, podium. Fire. Dundio and I think Arif. Yes. Ricardo and Essay, let's have a look at